Welcome to pre-math. In this video we have got this uh, blue right triangle uh, whose one of the angles is uh, x as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 98 centimeter square and the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle is uh, 28. And now our task is to find the value of this uh, angle uh, x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And we know our angle, this one is uh, x and our one of the side lengths is uh, 28. And we are interested in finding uh, this uh, side length. And now let's recall uh, so cartois and we are interested in uh, cosine of uh, theta equal to adjacent uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case, uh, our angle is x uh, and our hypotenuse uh, is uh, 28. And this is our adjacent. Let me go ahead and label this adjacent as our lowercase uh, a. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, lowercase a. So therefore, our this uh, cosine of uh, x uh, is uh, going to be equal to adjacent in our case uh, is uh, a divided by our hypotenuse is uh, 28. I can write down 28 at the denominator. And now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 28 uh, to isolate A. So we can see this 28 and 28 is gone. So therefore A turns out to be equal to 28 uh, times uh, cosine of uh, x so therefore our this a value turns out to be 28 times cosine of x so in other words this whole side length is going to be 28 times cosine of x and here's our next step let's focus on this blue right triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times a b times a sine of angle c. As you can see in this uh, diagram, here we got uh, side lengths uh, a and uh, b, and angle c is in between. And in our case, uh, our area is uh, 98 centimeters square. Our side lengths are uh, 28, uh, and 28 times the cosine of x and our angle is uh, x. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Area in our case is uh, 98 equals to a half uh, times, uh, we got uh, 28 times uh, 28 uh, times uh, cosine of uh, x and then uh, sine of uh, x. And now let's focus on this uh, part, uh, 28 times cosine of x uh, times uh, sine of x. I'm going to tweak this one. I can write this thing as uh, 14 times uh, 2 sine of x times uh, cosine of uh, x. And furthermore, uh, this uh, 1 divided by 2 times uh, 28 is going to give us uh, 14. So therefore, this equation could be written as 98 is still on the left hand side equals to 14 times I'm going to write this thing as 14 times 2 and then sine of x cosine of x and now 14 times 14 is 196. So therefore, we got uh, 98 equal to 196 uh, times uh, 2 sine of x uh, times uh, cosine of x. And now we are going to divide both sides by 196. This uh, and this is gone. 98 uh, divided by 196 is uh, same as 1 divided by 2. So therefore, we are ended up with the 2 sine of uh, x times uh, cosine of x equal to 1 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number uh, 1. And now let's recall uh, our angle uh, sum uh, identity. We have a sine of uh, 
angle alpha plus another angle beta it is equal to sine of alpha times cosine of beta plus sine of beta times cosine of alpha and now let's assume that our angle alpha and beta are same i'm gonna call both of them x and x then on the right hand side this alpha is going to become x beta is going to be x beta is x and likewise alpha is going to be x as well and now on the left hand side this uh, x plus x is same as uh, 2x so therefore our left hand side has become a sine of uh, 2x and on the right hand side this is sine of x times cosine of x sine of x and cosine of x as well and now on the right hand side uh, these are same so this could be written as uh, 2 times uh, sine of x times uh, cosine of x as you can see in this uh, next step our sine of uh, 2x uh, could be written as uh, 2 times uh, sine of x times cosine of x and by the way this uh, identity is called uh, double angle identity since we are dealing with the uh, 2x let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2 and here's our next step let's go ahead and compare these equations 1 and 2 we can see that uh, 2 sine of x uh, cosine of x uh, is same as this one so therefore I'm going to replace this one by sine of 2x so therefore our equation uh, number 1 is going to become uh, sine of uh, 2x equals to 1 divided by 2 and now in our case our angle is uh, 2 times x so therefore I can write uh, 2x equal to sine inverse of uh, 1 divided by 2 and now we know that sine uh, inverse of 1 divided by 2 is uh, 30 degrees so therefore I'm going to replace this one by 30 degrees so therefore 2x is going to be equal to 30 degrees let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our angle x value turns out to be 30 degrees divided by 2 is going to give us 15 degrees so thus our this angle x turns out to be 15 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 15 degrees after rigorous trigonometry and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye